America sees you coming back. Distinguished guests and sailors gave thanks to Fleet Master Chief Joanne Ortloff during a retirement ceremony honoring her 33 years of naval service at Naval Support Activity Naples, Italy. Over the course of her career, she has seen the gradual change in the policies that have opened more opportunities for women to serve in forward areas ashore and afloat, operate combat aircraft, and advance to the most senior positions in our Navy. What Joanne has accomplished and the impact she's had on the Navy and the lives and careers of her sailors is why you see this, this room full of all these people. And to be honest, I'm sure some are just making sure she does retire. <laughs> You stood a vigilant watch at sea and on shore, always striving to make our Navy more capable and continuously advancing the interest of the most precious asset, sailors. Fleet Master Chief Ortloff's husband was also recognized in the ceremony for his unwavering support, his involvement mentoring sailors, and the positive impact he's had on the community. Even though Fleet may be retiring, the pair will continue to serve sailors. I will always stay involved wherever sailors are, wherever they need, but I am going to put my anchor on my door and I am going to hang up my hat. It's time. Okay, help me out, Chiefs. Navy Chief! Navy Pride! Navy Chief! Navy Pride! Navy Chief! Navy Pride! Fleet Master Chief Ortloff retired as the highest ranking female enlisted service member in the United States Navy. Fair winds and following seas, Fleet Master Chief. Petty Officer Emily Williams, Naples, Italy.